Now we'd like to talk about the recipient of the Trevor Live 2020 Visionary Award. Mm -hmm. Each year, this honor recognizes a corporation or organization that has supported or increased the visibility and understanding of the LGBTQ community. The PwC Charitable Foundation has been raising awareness for Trevor's crisis and suicide prevention services. I hear the fans! <laughs> for LGBTQ youth since 2016, when they made their first investment in the organization. The foundation amplifies the good work of PwC employees, helping them create change and progress for the causes that are near and dear to them. Here's just one of their stories. When I first realized that I was gay when I was 12 years old, I have never felt so alone. Over the years, I began to struggle with depression, anxiety, and eventually suicidality. And nobody should ever have to feel that way. The Trevor Project is at the forefront of this issue that is impacting more than 1.8 million LGBTQ youth each year. The PwC Foundation is so excited to do our part to help the Trevor Project in the next phase of its development, a development and a transformation that will enable this great organization to reach even more LGBTQ youth in crisis. The PwC Foundation is constantly looking for ways to help organizations innovate and create scalable change to approach some of society's important problems. You know, I think about this collaboration between PwC and the Trevor Project, and if I had to go back to 12-year-old Tristan, I could tell him, you know, today I am working at a place that is making a difference for people like you. And I think that I get to say I'm doing right by him, so I'm really proud of that. And to accept this year's 2020 Visionary Award on behalf of the PwC Charitable Foundation, please welcome Chief Purpose and Inclusion Officer at PwC, Shannon Schuyler, and the President of the PwC Charitable Foundation, Yolanda Seals Cook. So my daughter Sydney is at home watching this live and she saw those dancers on stage and she was like, oh my gosh, mom, I hope you don't have to go after them. So. <laughs> we, we were both trying to figure out who was who on stage and it did not work out well for either of us. No. So we're so glad there was something in there. No. So Shannon and I are so honored to accept this award on behalf of our colleagues at the PwC Charitable Foundation. Those of you who are not familiar with the foundation, we want to take a little bit of time right now to tell you a bit more about who we are and what we do. The PwC Foundation was started by the people of PwC, an organization that has a ton of experience in products and services focused on technology. The PwC Foundation is able to take advantage of this expertise to help underserved communities, especially those in crisis, which brings us to the Trevor Project. So I first became aware of the Trevor Project in 2016. So we had this huge event where our people got to decide what are the organizations that we want to do more for, and it was a crowdfunding project, and lo and behold, Trevor Project crushed everyone. So it was a project that people said, this is the one that if you want to invest in, that can make the most difference. And so we did that as an organization, as a firm, and we turned that over to the PwC Charitable Foundation. And the foundation, I know, amazing. <laughs> so amazing, 55,000 people in the US said this is the place to give to. So seeing that our people had such a deep appreciation and passion for this organization had me go at the time, and I had the incredible uh, opportunity to meet with Amit, and I met with other people in the organization and said, not only is this a great organization, because literally, this is the best run nonprofit I have ever worked with. <laughs> Which over my 23 years of working with nonprofit organizations actually means 
a great deal. This is an organization that wasn't out for the money, but was out to make an impact. And you heard Connor, and you heard these people talk, and they were there for the individual. And this is because building capacity and what they do actually makes an incredible change. And so I was drawn to the fact that they were really focused on growing their impact and being able to not only focus on the people that they currently had in the organization and the dwellings that they had, but really focusing on keeping people alive and people that they had not yet touched yet, but they knew that they could. And that was something that we realized that we could do. And the impediment was technology and the ability to say, how do you scale this? How do you make sure that not just a small group of people had access, but a large group? And Amit didn't say, like, I want your money. He said, I want your capacity. And I want your ability to change 1.8 million individuals and their lives. And that's something very different than just saying that I want your money. Yeah. And so that can and let us to say that there are people that are alone and there are people who are depressed and there are people who are scared, but what could we do about it? Not just throw a check, but how could we be engaged? And how could we be with you on a step-by-step -step basis? And the thought about being the need for people to be on the other end of the phone, for when someone makes a phone call, like how easy does that seem? Like we pick up our phone how many times a day? And somebody calls and says, what can we do? And for someone to say, I can save your life? Like, how do you say that that is not worthwhile? So to go from our people saying that we care about this organization, this is a great organization, to realizing that this organization, yes, is great, but it actually saves people's lives, is something that is fundamentally different. And you should all know this is than other organizations, and PwC Charitable Foundation embraced that, and we were able to give that back to say, then what comes next? Right. So our foundation came together, and we were looking for ways to explore better collaboration between our foundation and Trevor Project, and we wanted to learn more. We wanted to understand that this is a really big challenge that Trevor is taking on and that Trevor is facing, but particularly, we wanted to impact those 1.8 million LGBTQ youth every year that are considering suicide. That is a staggering statistic. We've heard it a lot this evening, and as a parent, it is a shocking statistic for me to hear. And it's heartbreaking. The Trevor Project has made significant technology advancements over the last two years in really trying to keep up with the demand. All the scaling of the 24-7 we've talked about tonight, like the ability to be able to reach people for every time they're ready for it, the real time, what it is, and that costs money. And that is investment. If somebody wants to reach out and they're in need, you need to be in need there. And that costs what it does to be able to be all inclusive for that individual. And so this is something that we need to do more. And we need to look more of not only what we have done and what the organization has done, but how do we further go on to look at this LGBT community and say, what else can we do? And how can the PwC Charitable Foundation go beyond and really look at the technology advancements to help this organization to continue to grow further and farther and to be able to solve those problems and the investment that's needed to really drive this organization to the next phase? So we've talked a lot about what it costs and how much work there is to do. And so we are thrilled, thrilled, thrilled this evening to announce that the PwC Charitable Foundation is investing $6 million over the next four years. The fans are out. <laughs> will literally go down as a first and probably a last that I have ever been applauded with fans. I mean, 
there is something really special happening in this room right now. Um, but this is a really significant grant. This is a significant grant for our foundation. We, we make a commitment to go deep with organizations that we care about, that we're passionate about, and that are doing great things in their community. And this is the largest grant ever received by the Trevor Foundation. So as we wave our fans, we're thinking, wow, $6 million is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. You're right, it is. But, but let me give you a sense of, what, of how we think this money is going to be best used to help this organization do some of the great work that it's doing. Um, so we, my slide needs to advance. I, <laughs> we're excited. Okay, go ahead. okay, we're excited. Okay, right, so we're so excited. <laughs> we got it. So we got so excited. We went off script, and the people backstage are getting mad at us. So we're so excited to work with the folks from Trevor in overseeing the implementation of this grant over the next four years. Let's talk a little bit about what that looks like. We've come up with a very specific plan that utilizes cutting edge technology to scale up the number of Trevor volunteer crisis counselors so that hundreds if not thousands of counselors can be available for our young people 24 seven. Right now, Trevor tra trains 120 chat and text counselors per year. The new training platform will allow them to train 100 counselors each and every month. And we'll also be creating features for these volunteers that increase morale, build an even better sense of community, with the goal of helping to retain them. All of you in, the, in this room who have answered those phones know that this is difficult and emotional work and burnout is real. So we wanna make sure that we're helping Trevor to create the platform that's gonna support its volunteers. And to be clear, <laughs> incredibly important, and, and to be clear that all of this will be de developed because we know that as a part of giving who you are, that comes with a great gift that you give others, but privacy is incredibly important. And so part of the PwC platform is not only that you are able to give information, but we protect it. And so making sure that the information that you provide is a part of what that looks like. And making sure that we provide over $2 million worth of really technology support to make sure that the information that's there is confidential. And it's information that you can provide, but that we care for. And that's a part of how people further develop and how you emerge from the situations that you are, but you don't have to worry about. That's fantastic. So, so Shannon and I are accepting the 2020 Visionary Award. I'm not sure whose desk it gets to go on. Um, on behalf of an incredible, incredible team. And we'd like to specifically thank the PwC Foundation Board, our trustee Liz Diap, who helped lead this great collaboration, um, our PwC Foundation former board member and Trevor board member, Mike Dillon, who is here with us tonight. <laughs> our foundation team members, Charlotte Coker Gibson and Anna Mattel for all their hard work on putting together this proposal. You can imagine it takes a lot of work to put together how we're going to spend $6 million, and, and these ladies did an incredible job. And we'd also like to thank the Trevor team, Sam Dorison, John Callery, Munir Pandwaji from Trevor. Your consistent ability to think big, to build, to innovate, to collaborate, to think about all that is possible in the art of the possible between our two organizations has been incredible and inspiring, and it has truly been a pleasure to work with all of you. And earlier, we recognized the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, and I just want to let you know that my six-year-old, who just turned seven last week, had the most incredible experience of being able to go with PwC and Mike Dillon and over 200 people from PwC and to march in the parade in New York and before doing so, he went to the PwC building at 300 Madison where he got glitter and he got nails painted. And he was like, Mommy, 
does this happen every day at PwC? <laughs> <laughs> of which I was like, maybe. <laughs> and so he is now overwhelmed with not only do we do this, but what an incredible gift that we have given to be able to make sure that everyone is adopted and included. And the LGBTQ people in his family are folks that he works with every single day. And so thank you. Thank you for being a part of not only my son, but my son being able to make 1.8 million kids and young adults able to have a chance to share what's happening with them and a chance to save their life. Like I could never imagine my seven-year-old not having that. And what we have done and what you have all done today makes that a reality. So thank you all. Thank you.